Well, today we are going to enhance our audio. So I have a recording here that I have done a couple of days ago and we're gonna to import it to our video card by ACH software. We are using the NCH Sweet and Zero. And what we need to do, uh, the, the audio here, if you could, could hear it, it's pretty so low. I got one of those videos uh, and I can see it's kind of uh, really low compared to my voice. So we need to enhance that a little bit. So the way you do it, you create a new audio file like this. And what it would do is actually it would take all the audio from your video and export it to a different file. You can do the same with many other softwares uh, and you can, uh, you don't need to use the NCH software specifically, but the process is quite the same. You can use Audacity if you want some free tools and you can use other uh, VSDC, for example, that would do the same for you. Now, when you have the separate file, you just right click on it, open file with WavePad, which is quite the same uh, application from the same suite and we authorize it to be used for non-profit non uh, purposes and then it just imports the audio. So how it's done? When it opens it, uh, I already have some presets set but some of them are working really well so you go to normalize. What normalize does, it actually puts all of those spikes and you see they are low and this represents the whole spectrum of loudness that you can have if you are looking at the vertical pane. So we need to boost everything up to this line over here and uh, to keep the audio quality the same way. Anyway, so this is called normalization. So we just take our normalization profile and I would boost it to minus 20 and just hit apply. Look what happens to our waveform. There it goes, and the waveform got boosted. I would say a little bit too much, so let's go back, and you just need to see if there are too many spikes over there, right? So 22 dB is what I need. Let's see how it goes up. We are looking for uh, audio dynamics here. So we see there are the low parts, the high parts. If everything too high and too, too many peaks are reaching this point, uh, this means that you will hear some noise at those points. So we don't have too many spikes in this specific audio example. So minus 22 dBs are pretty nice. Another thing that you do, you go for equalize. So if you are a man, you need to increase the voice depth a little bit and increase a little bit your higher frequencies. So your phone would be sound, so your voice would sound more uh, radio-like because the microphone here. And usually microphones don't pick up the sounds perfectly unless you're using a really, really, really high quality production uh, microphones. But if you're using a normal one, this is what you do. You need to boost your bass and treble a little bit and leave the middle as it is. So we hit apply. And this is quite uh, this takes a little bit of time here, as you see, uh, because equalizing each and every part I mean, it now needs to go through all frequencies and sample every bit of your audio. So it takes a little bit of time. And now well, while we wait, uh, we need to figure out what should we do next. So uh, what do you need to do afterwards? You need to take your video and link it, link it with your new, newly added audio. And we'll do that in a minute once it gets finished. Uh, pretty much the WavePad software is really, really nice. I can tell you that uh, it's really simple. It has every all, all the controls in front of you. The learning curve is minutes, unlike Audacity, which I really like and really as a respect. Audacity kicks ass, right? But still, in order to learn how to use it, it will take some time. And this software just does the job immediately. And this is all about what we're doing here free tools that do the job nicely. So you see the waveform here changed, then close and hit save and agree to the new format that it has created and now wait for a little bit. It's saving the file and immediately it changes it inside our software here. As you see, it rescans it. So we wait for 100% and now we are done. Now you bring your video into your timeline here and you bring audio and sync it exactly, snap it exactly to the same place. Now, what I like to do, I usually mute the original soundtrack, but because they're overlapping, you wouldn't hear both of them. But uh, when, it, uh, time to, when, when the time will come to export, it would need to consider this track as well. And it's additional CPU time. We don't want that. So just disable this track and it would, uh, wouldn't consider it during the exportion process.
So uh, this is how you do it. This is how your audio is enhanced. So let's test it out. So I got one of those videos that I created recently. It's called how to promote your video on Facebook. And then I wondered what as you see the audio sample is really really great so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you'd like to see more so hit subscribe on my button oh if you'd like to see more please hit subscribe button and review my playlist if you'd like see you around have a nice day google plus in terms of promotion for channel gives more than facebook posts that's for sure